Hi everyone, so this is my next installment for um, Inspired by Accessories. Um, this is a look that I created. I was inspired by these Forever 21 earrings um, that have blue, blue, black, silver, white, and red. And I went ahead and did a look with that. So if you're interested to see how I created this look, just stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing another installment of inspired by accessories so here we go I've already applied um, primer potion on my eye um, now I'm gonna use ooh, my Urban Decay um, Book of Shadows volume 2 and I'm gonna be grabbing um, half baked and I'm gonna grab that with a flat fluffy brush and I'm gonna place that all over the oh sorry if I shaked it there okay I'm gonna put it all over the crease and a little bit above. And um <clears throat> and I'm just gonna place this all across the eye into the inner corner. Like so. Okay. Okay, so next I'm gonna go with a flat brush like this, and I'm grabbing my um eyeshadow and it's called Wedding, and I got it from Scandalous. And I'm going to place that in the inner corner, uh, right here in the tear duct, and also on, as my highlight. So this is going to go right here. And I love this white because it's matte, and it's so vibrant. It's such a vibrant thing, you know? Okay, just like that. Next, I'm going to grab the other side of that brush, and I'm going to go in with um, Sellout, which is this pretty color right here. And I'm going to place that all over the lid area. And this is a very neutral look. I think this is a nice look for wearable daytime. Um, of course, without the blue liner on the bottom. But again, like I said, this is uh, part of my installment, um, inspired by accessories. And I'm going to place this, and you can use this for a daytime look, so, I think so. And, um, just add a little bit more of that white to the inner area. And the good, the cool thing about these shadows is that they're so shimmery, that they're so, they're, they blend so well. So that's the cool thing about them. So I'm just getting a little bit more of that half-baked, and I'm placing it again on the crease. You know, you just pretty much eyeball it and see if you need more color or not and now I'm gonna go ahead and let's see what else should I do now okay so now I am going to place this Urban Decay 24-7 um, liner and Deviant Deviant I don't know how you say that but you put it under the waterline and just all across the eye. I'm not putting it on the waterline, on the actual water waterline. I'm putting it under the waterline. And then just bringing it in almost to the end. Well, almost to the inner section of the eye. And then I'm going to grab um, from the same um, volume book of shadows with a pencil brush. I'm going to grab Jinx. And it's this color right here, the blue color. And I'm just going to put that over the glide on pencil to set it. And um, I think the blue gives it really a nice pop to the look. To the look. Again, you don't have to go this route if you want to try this look out. But since I am inspired by these wonderful little earrings, I decided to go with the blue on the bottom. And this is your look, you guys. It's as easy as that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add my liner, and I'm using, of course, Urban Decay. Wait a minute, no, I'm not. Um, I'm using Bedhead, and I'm going to use that on the top, and then I'm going to use a little bit of liner, um, black liner on the waterline, and I'll do that now. And this is just a professional cold eyeliner, and this is from Avon. So I'm just going to put that on the waterline. And this is just going to intensify that blue. Make it a little darker because this this blue is, is a little darker than what I'm using. But it's okay. I'm just being inspired by the look. Doesn't mean I have to do it exactly like it, right? 
All right, so this is how I do my liner. Well, this one is not really something very dramatic or winged. It's just to give my lashes a base. And I'm just putting it very thin on the actual lash line. As you can see, this is how I do it. And I'm not doing it too thick again because I don't want to lose the focus of the blue under the eye. So it's just a base for the fake lashes and I'm going to be adding these little babies right here onto my lash line and I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I use on the rest of the face. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I've completed my look. As you can see, I added my false lashes, um, my mascara, my liner. <clears throat> And on my cheeks, what I used to contour here, I used this bronzer and I used the darker side. And this is called um, All Over Bronzing Powder in Bronze Mist from NYC. And then to pink it up on the cheeks, I used this MAC um, blush. And it's called Secret Blush um, on the cheeks right here. And then as my lips to go with the red on my earrings, I used lip liner red from opera this is like a dollar liner that i got somewhere in like in a fashion store <clears throat> then i used revlon's in the red nude no in the red matte revlon lipstick which i'm loving it's so pretty i love matte i love everything matte um and that completed my look again you guys i was inspired by these babies right here um please stay tuned for more installments of my inspired by accessories um, series and um, my next look will be a Valentine's Day look so keep in on the lookout for that um, as you guys can see I'm wearing my new hair which I'm absolutely loving which is this one right here I don't know if you guys can see it or not Ooh, isn't that cute I love it <laughs> um, so I'm rocking my new hair as well I only got it for it was $14 and I'm loving it it looks like it's my hair so I'm loving it um, and of course, I wanted to come and uh, show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys try it out, let me know. Put a, vid put a video response under this video. And again, um, stay tuned for my next installments. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.